Hello, Cathy here from followcathy.com. Oops, I forgot to put the phone before I played. Yes, stay. Hello, hello. I'm going to check if it's working well. Yes. So, how are you today? So, who's going to join? Now, one view. So today we're going to talk about the daily routine to stay focused because I find since I'm back from my holiday, since uh, we moved house, so there's still a lot of things to do, kind of, kind of lose my focus and I find it hard to go back on, you know, my everyday routine. So I wanted to talk about it today. So who is with me? If you want, can say who is here and... Uh, where you are, where you are. So I'm here in beautiful Jamaica. Today it's not raining because it rained nearly all weekend, but um, so it's a nice weather here. I heard, hi, Randallonet, Randallonet. Uh, I heard that uh, in Europe it's very nice also. My daughter is in Ireland and she said it's very sunny. So uh, that's great. So, yes, what I was going to say today, um, when you do, hi, <laughs> Vendela not, I hope I say it correctly. Um, so what I say is, um, you know, when you, you enter your routine and you do everything every day and then you stop for some reason, like for me, I went on holiday, then we moved our house. Hi, Katie. And it was always uh, something, you know, but it's hard to go back and to work again. Ah, it's Robert, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so it's, it's hard to get back to the routine. So what I decided today, because otherwise it's completely out of hand. Uh, yes, you're home early. Um, and I'm tired, so I can see my eyes. I'm very tired because there are so many things we have to do. So what you have to do, if you go on to get back onto your focus, and that is something that I always say, you take 10 minutes in the morning when you wake up and you can say your, um, your meditation or you can uh, do your prayers, depends what you are believing in. Uh, you can take these 10 minutes just before you get up. So you take 10 minutes. If, for example, you have the kids to wake up, just put your alarm 10 minutes earlier and then take this time just for yourself, just to prepare yourself for the day. So you do your meditation, you do uh, your gratitude, what you're doing, because it will help you to, um, to get back into, um, uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Sylvie. Um, so it will help you to get back and to think what you're going to do. You just prepare when you're dead into your head, just uh, thinking what is happening, um, you know, for your health, your kids, whatever you have in your life. But take these 10 minutes because it's important that you don't rush in the morning. And uh, I find that, uh, like for example, we had a little bit of a fire in the house. I mean, the house is old where we moved and uh, every day we have something new going on but <clears throat> instead of being mad or just see the positive way of um, what is happening okay so we are in beautiful house I know it's going to be done I know something is, you know we are going to get there <clears throat> but I want to say just see the positive thing about everything that is happening in your life. If you start your day saying, oh, there is this and there is that, and it's not going to work out because you're going to be uh, not in a good mood for the day and it's not, it's not going to be good for your business and, and the same thing for the people that you meet if you're getting angry or even when you text, when you, um, you know, for example, if you have people and you're uh, getting texts and stuff, if you always laugh, of everything that is happening even when they ask me when I say I'm um, for example on Twitter for business oh yeah but I want to know you better married so that was posting last time I'm married four kids a grandmother I'm a grandmother so what do you want from me and I laugh at it I don't get mad I don't get angry so it's what you have to see the positive way of everything that is happening around you 
okay so if you take these 10 minutes when you wake up I know everybody's busy everybody is um, you know rush every time but if you just put 10 minutes the alarm earlier it will make a difference during the day but to, for you know for the waking up but it will make a huge difference for your day okay so the 10 minutes then what I would say is um, and that is something since we moved house I didn't go to the gym I didn't go you I was doing Pilates and doing sports is very important because your mood is much better so you have to get out and you need to go even if it's for 20 minutes or half an hour but you need to go and do some gym or go to to a club or whatever to just get out because I find that since I don't do Pilates First, I'm sluggish, I feel fat, I don't feel great, I don't have any more energy as I had. So you need to do a little bit of sport. Even if it's only 20 minutes, even if you go around the block and you walk, it's great. You have to, uh, you have to make sure that uh, you do a bit of sport, do something for your health. You need to think about yourself as well. So Robert, I always jump straight out of bed and take a shower immediately. What the first 10 minutes when you open your eyes are important to get up immediately and act what if you open your eyes, start working your brain. Um, no, start working your brain and get all the bad thoughts up as you keep lying in bed, so act immediately. <laughs> now you're right, it's great. Everybody is different. I like to take this time to just focus on myself, just uh, being thankful about my days, my kids, everything that is going on. So I, I like to take this 10 minutes and it's something when you move house, when you're in a rush, you don't do and you forget. And then after, you know, little things during the day annoy you. But if you start with a good feeling, I guarantee you, you'll be fine for the rest of the day. <coughs> so, it's what I was saying, you have to go and do some sports or do something about um, for yourself because that is important that you think about yourself. Don't, sometimes it's hard as a mom at home and you have the kids, you try to do your business, you have clean up, you have to uh, make the food. So it's a never ending and we always put ourselves in the back and we never think about ourselves. So it's important that you take care of yourself, even if it's 20 minutes, but go for a walk, or do your nails even, you know, even if it's not sport or something, but do something for yourself. And it's important because it's good for your head. So, hi. So, hi, Alma. <laughs> so that's why it's important that you do some exercise or you do something for yourself every single day. <laughs> Now, if you're working and it's on your part time and you do some training, even if it's a half an hour, you need to always learn something new and that is important. So what I did now, I decided this morning, I put on my board and I just put everything I want to learn for the week. And then even if you have only 30 minutes, like the training I finished today, I started on Friday. Imagine that, three days to do a training. But I did it because it was a two and a half hours training, but it was very good. So I took note. If I took notes all the time, so then I don't forget. And tomorrow I'm going to do a blog about it and tomorrow I'll do a video about it. So everything you learn, and it's important that you give back. So you have to learn something new every day and then you give back because you need to bring value to uh, your audience or even if you have some people on your list and stuff like that. So you need to bring value. So that's why it's important that when you learn something, put it in a blog, do a video, um, you know, do something to bring value. And that's why I'm doing this video because I finished my training and I did put post planner. I heard about it before, but to be honest, I didn't really pay attention. And that's why um, I was asking who was using post planner because it seems to be very good when you don't have much time and you are very busy you can plan your week and that is great because um, I have my uh, Twitter uh, lead machine so on Twitter I'm fine every 30 minutes I have tweets going on but then I didn't have much on my Facebook 
and um, so the post planner you can do the same thing you can choose what you want to do if it's every two hours every hour whatever you want and you can choose a quote you can choose a blog you can choose so that is good so that's why I was I think I'm going to do, I mean I'm going to join I don't think I'm going to join post planner which will be great because um, you can do for example a few pictures together and it's not wasting too much time because when you have your ideas going on and you do your pictures it goes faster than if every single day you have to think of what you're going to do hi guys hi Darren so that's why it's important that um, you do try to automate as well a few things and then if you know you are going to be busy you can have all your posts already uh, scheduled of course you can schedule uh, when you have your fan page directly on the schedule but uh, having the post planner you can even it's what I was doing on my uh, last training as well every two weeks you can take the the post that really had a lot of views organic views then you can use it again and that's the great thing because you can check what is working who is uh, at what time is your best uh, time to post so that's why you have a few statistics as well which is great and you can use that to uh, repost the same thing so it's great at least it's it's not every day that you have to find new ideas new something because sometimes um, you might be busy like on Wednesday I'm going to do another big training that will start at 10 and I don't know at what time will be finished and I have another meeting in the evening time so I know on Wednesday I won't have time to touch my Facebook or Twitter so that's why it's important when you are doing such business and you want to have consistency and that is something you always have to be consistent you have to bring value but being consistent so prepare everything schedule everything and that's why the post planner seems to be very good and that's what I'm going to uh, use from now on so um that's it it's what i wanted to just say today as i said just coucou virginie <laughs> so uh just um plan if, plan even on sunday and it's what she, she was saying on the training she was not doing much on saturday but she was looking at all the stats what was working and on sunday she was preparing everything for the following week so that's why it's important that you do that that you uh, get everything together and you focus and you be consistent so it's what i always say if you can schedule everything that would be great because at least your audience know you're here so that's it for today and do you want to add anything i saw robert you added something else but if i had to lie to bed <laughs> nope as I said, married, four kids, and I'm a grandmother. <laughs> I say that all the time. So, um, so that's it. Uh, so, do you want to add anything? Or if you have your morning routine that you want to share, <laughs> not with you. <laughs> so, um, that's why if you want to share what you're doing in the morning, what you, what you do to keep your focus, because sometimes... Uh, I understand. I know I know John Robert, don't worry about it. Uh, so that's why it's important that you do get into a routine. As I said, take your 10 minutes to just think about what you're going to do, focus, uh, meditate. Uh, hi, Jen, hi, long time. How are you? Um, that you just focus, that you just uh, meditate or pray, whatever you're doing. Take these 10 minutes before you just jump out of bed like Robert you prefer to get out of bed and then take as well um, 20 minutes to half an hour if you can't have more but doing some kind of sport even if it's yoga if it's pilates or walking around the block because it will help you to get more energy and during that time just put your music on and that's it you know think about what you want to do uh, think about you know the future your goals and everything so it will help you to uh, to focus on as well on what you're doing always learn something new every day even if you don't have time take 20 minutes or half an hour but learn something and that's what you're learning put it on a piece of paper on a blog or uh, do a video so at least uh, you bring value to your audience <laughs> thank you Robert <laughs> Dutch orange nails. Yeah, I did my nails last week. You don't see it, but it's all shipped. It has to be gone soon. <laughs> uh, 
So that's why it's important that you learn and you share what you're learning and do a blog. Like I don't have time to do a blog today because I was doing different things. And um, so I'm going to do a blog of what I learned today and Friday because I started the training on Friday. But at least I, um, I, I'm going to share what I learned and prospect so the same thing if you want to network marketing if you are on affiliate program and you want to prospect be realistic put on the board for example you want to do five every day if you don't have time do two but be consistent because consistency is very hard it's very hard i'm still trying to create a routine thanks for the breakfast <laughs> if i'm not making breakfast every morning oh that's great <laughs> yes you need to get a breakfast in the morning um so what i'm saying is and and that's why i wanted to share it with you because i didn't do that for the last few weeks and i completely lost focus i completely lost uh, my momentum and i know i didn't get any more leads i didn't get too much hi sue how are you so that's why it's important to get back into your routine and um, write everything you're doing and if, as I said, you don't have time to do much time doing your, you can take a training and do it in two or three days and share it and then prospect. Be realistic, put every time I do and I put on my board one, two, three, four, five, and then that's it, I'm done, but I'm happy and being consistent should be great. Um, I <laughs> so fine, thanks. So that's it, I'm not going to repeat a third time the same thing over and over, but I see a lot of I mean, few people came on board. So that's all I wanted to share with you. Just keep doing what you're doing. You've been great. And um, keep consistency. Be yourself. Don't try to be someone else. Um, <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to be part of another MLM. To be honest, I'm trying to get out of network marketing. Maybe it's not for me. I don't know. There is a lot of things going on that I mm, I kind of feel um, yes you agree about being yourself so that's why I try a few things in the last year and to be honest network marketing is even though I like it even though I like communicating and I like helping people but it's not I don't think network marketing as such m, &M is for me so I prefer to be an affiliate program and that's why I'm doing my own projects now because I'm much happier with what I'm doing than having to share every time my links and that's you know you have to find your way and it's what i always say try to find what you want into your life what makes you happy and if you find that every day you're doing the same thing over and over and doesn't make you happy you have to stop and choose what you want really to do so that's why i would prefer to have affiliate, mar affiliate marketing i don't want to have uh, as such a mlm and I have my own project now and on Friday I'm going to uh, on Wednesday well, I'm trying to go into other forex because everybody's talking about bitcoins and I don't have a clue about what it is because I never was interested but I see a lot of people are very uh, interested with that and it works so on Wednesday that's what I'm going to do uh, a food training with Suzanne and uh, so it should be fun and uh, I'll be able maybe to share about it and what to do. But it's what I always say in life, find the thing that makes you happy. If something doesn't work for you, don't force yourself because you're not going to do a good job. And it's what I find. Uh, yes, we're going to do that training. Yeah, yeah, man, we are. <laughs> I'm so, and Sebastian and uh, God is better. I don't know. I'm going to try the forex, Chenhei. I don't know. Uh, on my by myself, and I have my son because he's already do, already doing that. He gave me a lot of things to uh, to look at before we start on Friday, on Wednesday. So uh, yes, Oksana, this is my passion exactly. Like Suzanne, you saw her. Uh, already on one of my live and uh, Suzanne is doing her ox system it's her project her, her hair project and it's her passion it's what she likes and she, I mean I try to make her do some MLM and she said okay that's not for me so it's what I'm saying everything 
everybody is different and what we do is uh, you have to choose what makes you happy so that's it I'm going to uh, wrap up so if you want to see blogs I am on www.followcathy.com you can see my projects and I have a description on all the projects same thing I have to do more blogs it's reviawellness.co you can go see the projects uh, there is also the uh, Ox system projects on my um, on my e-commerce and if you want to reach out to me if you want to show me what you're doing in the morning if it doesn't work for you or whatever I'll uh, I can help you out and um, I'll see you tomorrow all right bye have a great evening or morning whenever you're watching bye